Good morning, everybody. Hope you guys are having a terrific Monday. Let's start this week off. All right. As you can see, I uh, I brought out the uh, cast irons. Got the skillet, 12 inch riddle. <clears throat> Dutch oven. Love the six quart Dutch oven. I also have a uh, a bigger one over there. But this is not what I wanted to uh, make this film for. It's uh, I don't want to show you what how many pots and pans I got. Basically, I wanted to show you how to take care of your pots, uh, meaning seasoning, and then after you cook, how you're supposed to uh, treat your pans. So uh, yeah, let's get this show on the, on the road. All right, all right, all right. So let's say, for instance. Um, I go to a yard sale, which pretty much that's where you'll find these at. Yard sales, you know, uh, Goodwill, stores of that nature. All right. Let's say I happen to stumble on a yard sale. The person's selling this and it has a little bit of uh, rust going on right here. Usually what people will do is say, oh, it has rust. It doesn't work anymore. Let's sell it. And normally they'll sell it for a great price, five, eight bucks. When normally this would cost anywhere between uh, 12 to 15 maybe even $20. This one, as a matter of fact, my mom bought at TJ Maxx, out of all places. She said she saw it there, 8 bucks, picked it up, brought it, brand new. Now, let's say, for instance, you buy this pot or this uh, skillet pack brand new. Okay, what you want to do is, you know, look at it, whatever. Okay, you get it, you... Take the paper off of it, take the glue off. You're going to want to wash this and wash it with uh, soapy water, just like how you would any uh, plate, any pot pan. Okay? Wash it, rinse it, then you throw it on the burner. Okay? Once it's dried up, you got to let it completely dry. Just the way it is right now, it's completely dry, bone dry. Um, you put it on the stove, it's going to be hot. Of course, uh, you're going to want to uh, let it cool down, pour oil, a little bit, vegetable, corn oil, whatever you got. Just a little a bit goes a long way. Then you grab paper towel and you smear that puppy in, get all the crevices outside, flip it over this side, the handle, both handles, you know. You get it nice and oiled up. Then you get another paper towel and you wipe all that down. Then what you're going to want to do is throw it in the oven. Okay. Once you throw it in the oven, you set your timer or yeah, you set your timer for about two and a half hours and you're going to want to heat this pan for about uh, the degree on that. You want it to be uh, 250 to 265. For two hours okay and that's how you season your cast iron for the first time okay you might want to do those steps maybe at least a good three times yes it's tedious but it's well worth it okay if not you don't have to I did it for my pots and pans but um, you don't have to do it that many times but at least one time will do good okay and then uh, afterwards, I'll show you guys how to, uh, once, you know, you have about maybe a good week, two weeks in, and you say, okay, well, how do I uh, keep this beautiful patina going? Patinas is black, okay? Once you get these pans, you're going to notice they're kind of gray. It'll say on there, you know, pre-seasoned, but if you follow that step, I just told you once you buy it, and this is if you buy it new, Okay then it'll last you forever. But let's say you have two weeks in, two to three weeks in with your you know new pan, new skillet. Each time you cook, let's say I just cook pork chops. Okay, take it to the, uh, to the sink, scrape all that stuff off. And uh, once it's washed, you can use a little bit of soap. I've used them, don't worry, nothing's happened. Some of them I just use water, hot water, and just scrub everything out. And then what I do is I throw it on the uh, on the stove and put it on high heat. 
And uh, yeah, basically what I want to do is dry it out. I, you know, once it's on the stove, paper towel. And uh, yeah, let me demonstrate that for you. Okay, guys, I'll be back. Okay, let's say I just cooked some pork chops. There's a lot of stuff stuck in there. Don't worry, that's what's going to happen with these pans, riddles. Um, you're going to want to have one of these. This is your main tool. Get in there, scrub it real good, okay? And you're going to want to use hot water, okay? That's what I'm using, hot water. So you get in there, you scrub it, get everything out. Use this side too. Don't worry, nothing will happen to your pan. And it'll get it nice and clean, okay? Among this, you might want to purchase some score, scoring pads, okay? And get in there, scrub it out. Once it's smooth to the touch, then you know it's ready. And uh, you turn off your water. Drain off all the water. The key to these things, don't want to have them submerged in water for too long. That creates rust, okay? And uh, yeah, so... That's pretty much right there. Let's take this bad boy to the stove. Okay. Crank up the heat. Okay. Flame is on high. Yes, sir. All right. Let me turn on this light. Okay. Meanwhile, what I do while it's doing that, I, uh, Now all of a sudden this paper doesn't want to rip, but... Okay, grab some paper towel. Just wipe it down. Get it nice and dry, you guys. Okay? Careful not to burn yourself. Nice and dry. Yes? Okay, now this is the way I season my uh, cast iron after I'm done cooking. Let's say you already have a week or two with your cast iron and you've been cooking on it for a few times yes okay now it's got to uh let's let it uh heat up and dry all the way okay guys i'll be back i forgot to mention to you guys that you're gonna want to use you know these handles for uh or mitt to uh treat these because uh cast iron retains heat which means it's gonna uh, get hot all over it's gonna be scorching hot okay so that's pretty much the con of this um that it does get hot to the touch so just a little uh info for you guys all right all right so now it's gotten a little bit hotter i don't hear no more water sizzling i'm gonna add some oil to it remember a little goes a long way so that's all you need i might have put a little bit too much okay oops sorry about that guys now with a paper towel just go all over okay recondition that puppy because remember uh, cast iron once once it's hot the pores open up okay so this is a good way to keep it reconditioned once it opens up and uh, the metals open up in there um, and then this cools down Oh yeah, they've been uh, re-seasoned, okay? And uh, pretty much that's it. Just be careful not to burn yourself. It gets really hot, okay? And that's all it is. And then uh, just wait till a little bit of smoke. I don't know if you guys can see it. Let's see if I turn this off. Yeah, see that smoke? That's, that's what you want to see. You don't want to... You know, keep it on for too long. That pretty much, uh, okay, pretty much does it. Okay, so that's where I like to do. Every time I cook and I'm done, that's it. And if uh, you need to, turn on your fan, okay? On your hood range, okay? That way the smoke doesn't get everywhere. But, uh, yeah. That's how I like to uh, season my pans after I cook. Like I said, this is the method I use. 
And uh, yeah, as you can see, it keeps all my uh, cast iron pots, pans, the way I like them, okay? Nice glossy shine. And uh, they'll last for you a lifetime. Trust me, okay? Well, folks, I hope you guys enjoyed. And if uh, you're thinking about getting some cast iron, I recommend them. Like I said, the only con to this is that they weigh, you know, it is heavy. It's a metal, okay? It's going to have some weight. And it retains heat, so you're going to have to use a, you know, an uh, oven mitt. Or you can find one of these for the handle mitts. Yeah, it comes in handy. But I love these things. You can cook eggs. You can cook chicken, pork, fish. Oh, cornbread stews you can do everything with these okay you could even put them in on the grill these are great for that going camping well folks i hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, check out my next video i'm going to show you how to cook an egg on the cast iron skillet